Hello, grade 5 learners. Welcome to my science class. We are now in quarter 3, week 4. And today's topic is open and closed circuit. The competency for today's lesson is infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. And to start with, let us have a short review of our previous lesson. Identify the following objects as transparent, translucent, or opaque. Look around your house. How many appliances do you have? How many are currently plugged into your wall outlets? Most households have several devices that make use of electricity. The number of appliances that you have at home shows how important electricity is in our everyday lives. How does electricity flow to your appliances? Two conditions must be met in order for electricity to flow. First, there must be a source of electricity. Second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. What are the components of this complete path? The pictures above show an electrical circuit. An electrical circuit has four parts. A source, light bulb, wires, and switch. To turn on the lights, you have to close the circuit by pushing the switch on. To turn off the lights, you have to open the circuit again by pushing the switch off. A closed circuit makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete allowing electricity to flow through it. Electricity flows from the negative to the positive terminal of the dry cell. Another kind of circuit is an open circuit. In an open circuit, electricity does not flow because there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. So, what makes a circuit open? The switches that you see around your homes are electrical components that can make circuits of lights in our homes open or closed. To turn on the lights, you have to close the circuit by pushing the switch on. To turn off the lights, you have to open the circuit again by pushing the switch off. Other than switches, other causes of gaps or breaks in an open circuit include drained, rusty, or dispositioned batteries wherein similar ends are connected, busted bulb, and misplaced bulb. And now, let's do the activity. Remember, a circuit is a complete path that allows free flow of electricity. A closed circuit makes bulb light up because electricity flows through it. An open circuit 
cannot make a bulb light up because electricity does not flow through it. And now, we are ready for a test. Test A. Match the concept in column B with its description in column A. Test B. Draw a closed circuit. Label its components. 